hello friends so in this video we are going to see how to format the data okay so this formatting of the data is important when we are writing some status of the process or any module to some uh, file and other module can access that so uh, for that purpose or also you want to share some data between the module so in this case you want to you know format your uh, data so that the other module can understand in the same way so for that we need uh, this formatting so let's see how can we do that uh, programmatically so here i have defined a structure uh, of name person they have uh, three uh, you know uh, things in there so first is the name of the person then they have the role number then we have the percentage Okay, so we have the name as a character, then we have unsigned it as a roll number and the, you know, uh, the float uh, double for this percentage. So let's, uh, you know, initialize this uh, uh, structure. So I have uh, created one uh, student data and the name is uh, Raul and the roll number is 1020 along with the percentage that is uh, something double so let's uh, format this data so that we can send it to a uh, file okay so for that purpose we need an api that is sn print f right so so the first parameter of this api will be the buffer on which we will save our formatted data so i have already created one buffer of a buffer size of 1k here so let's uh, take that buffer okay then we have uh, you know the size of the buffer so let's take is as buffer then uh, here we need to format the string and what we need what are the data uh, that is related to this uh, formatting is uh, first i want uh, you know the name so i have this structure so let's uh, have that so student data dot then we have the name then we have the student data dot roll number then we have student data dot percentage so we need to format our string such a way that we need these three uh, things in there in that string right so let's format it so the first uh, thing here is the name so the name is in the string format and uh, roll number is in the unsigned int and the uh, percentage is in the format of a double right so i want these three data to be separated by the space first so let's uh, have this uh, percentage as for the first string then we have space then we have uh, unsigned int then we have d and then we have the double right so if we print this buffer after that then we'll see the data will be formatted with space separated so let's uh, print this buffer also so we have uh, print f then we have uh, you know buffer is equal to then we have percentages next line character then we have the buffer name so let's save it and let's uh, you know first format so we have a binary called formatting then we have to run this so you see here the buffer is the three uh, things in this structure along with the space separated right so if you see here there is uh, you know uh, uh, the decimal point is uh, up to six and uh, we need to have it uh, two so we, we, we just need to uh, change here for 0 0.2 for two decimal values and then we save it and run again then we'll see that we have two decimal values right okay so if we want some delimiter in between this so we just need to have this delimiter like this uh, I have a comma right 
and uh, comma will be the delimiter for this and once we compile it again then we will see that our data is been formatted using comma separated right so we can also take the macro uh, in spite of this uh, thing so we just need to cut this then we define one macro uh, let's take it as format string right and just take the name here and save it okay so this way also you can do that and uh, if we want to change our format to some other thing like uh, we want this uh, like this so this can also be done uh, so let's save it and again uh, we can run it once and see if it is perfectly right okay okay so this way we can format our data into the respective format so whatever we desire and but the module uh, that will be passing this data should know about this uh, delimiters and the format of the data that is being uh, sent from uh, one module to another so let's uh, complex this problem let's take one more structure okay let's take a array of structure now and see how s and print f will work on that so let's take a array so just have this thing and now we have this let's take a comma here then this one then take another structure so just paste it here then just change the name i'm just taking a poll and uh, the roll number i'm changing to one and uh, percentage will be uh, you know um, 86.3456 right so this way i have defined uh, you know the structure so we have a uh, two structure now right so we have uh, one structure for uh, raul and other for paul and now i want these all data to be formatted into the buffer uh, like before with comma separated right so what we need to do uh, we need to take a loop right so let's take a loop for uh, take a counter and i is equal to zero so what we need here we need the size or uh, the number of students uh, structure in this so let's take the number and number of students so how can we calculate this so we have size of uh, which one then we have uh, you know uh, of this student data right then we have to divide it with the size of person right now we'll get the number of students in the list and this we want to input in here so we'll take number of student then we just increment the counter by one now i just take this for loop also and the last we will print the whole buffer with all the data so we need to uh, you know change this uh, structure also so we just need to take i the counter here here also i need to take a counter here also the counter right so i want this uh, 
block to be separated by the comma so I just change here by comma so that all the data will be separated by the comma and uh, this way and uh, now I want to set the position of the buffer to save the next student right so I'll take a variable here a name is a position and take it at zero initially and now you know ascent print f will return the number of bytes that is written onto this buffer so i will take it as position plus equal to and then we have to change the buffer to that position so what we are doing here we are continuously iterating we are continuously iterating over this uh, array of structure and now uh, we are saving all the data into this buffer depending on the position so first time the first student came it will write some data into this buffer then again the value of the position will change and the buffer will write to from that position so this way it can be done and uh, let's uh, save it and see uh, what is the format of the data that I'm getting so let's take it like this to you know see exactly okay so let's save it and again I just run it and then we have formatting let's take it bigger and now you see the format of the data will be like this so we are saving uh, you know multiple uh, person data from this st structure array into uh, the buffer so there yeah, goodbye